what is up guys welcome back to the channel so we haven't been having a good luck with this car I mean I went to SoCal to do an event first one we bottomed out and blew out our oil pan and then when I got home I inspected the car right so I got it going and I had the intercooler out and it looks like the intercooler is also hitting our crank pulley bolt so I repaired that repaired the oil pan got back out and literally within the first run third to fourth gear shift and we broke something so basically I could shift to any gear but it acts like everything is in neutral like nothing is engaging I checked the axle the drive shaft everything's good shifting fine yeah it's just not going anywhere so I ended up ordering an endoscope it's a little cheap uh, $25 unit um, and let me show you guys what is going on check that out actually we got it right from the get-go So basically, the top of the screen right there is the input shaft, and in between that is a gap. Yep. So it looks like our input shaft on a brand new rebuilt transmission, well it's not brand new, it's like a used rebuilt transmission, but regardless, a rebuilt transmission, it's gone. Yeah. So I'm a little bit um, stomped on this one because... I could put in our reserve one which is like a high miles I don't really know what the condition it's like a backup of a backup last resort kind of transmission I was hoping this thing lasts me a little bit longer um, the other option would be to reuse my old transmission that I broke the differential on and just grab like the input shaft basically just the input shaft and install that into our current transmission which sounds a lot better than our first option but obviously it will require a lot of work and I've never rebuilt a transmission on this car so could be the first one to go so this episode we are gonna pull the transmission out confirm that it is in fact the input shaft is broken although based on the endoscope I think it's goner alright guys so I'm gonna go ahead and drop the transmission everything is lowered or unbolted so when we drop it we'll find out exactly what went wrong and essentially confirm if it is input shaft or not hopefully I mean ideally not the input shaft but same time uh, yeah hopefully I'm right because I don't know what else could be wrong with it I don't really know where to mount you guys so I think uh, that's what I have to do Okay, well, as you guys can see, that already went down pretty quick. So, here we go. I guess uh, it's better if I put you guys on this angle instead so you could see it. Check that out guys. Right there. Damn. Well then, that looks painful. Oof. Look at that guys. What the hey? Bear with me here guys. So I'm kind of crawling under here. Alright. So uh looks like I kinda dinged up my my clutch here, but so far, things looks pretty good, besides my input shaft being in there. So as I'm kind of doing this, I'm not really sure what I want to do for uh, my transmission. Basically it looks like it's going to take about 8 to 12 hours to rebuild, assuming I buy all the, uh, the tools I need to actually take the transmission apart, which sounds like I'm going to need a press. Um, Oh no. Okay. So I could either pull the input shaft from my other transmission. Oh, okay, cool. That was easier. Uh, things looks good there. Just this part right here, apparently. 
All right, so another souvenir to our uh, broken pieces pile. So, man, that thing just like cleaned it right off. Look at that. Wow, that's crazy. Nope, oh, it's not even zooming in. There you go. Look at that, guys. That is insane. Um, yeah, so like I was saying, I'm not sure what I want to do as far as what I'm going to do with the transmission. I know this transmission shifts a lot better than my other one, mainly because it's been, you know, rebuilt in new synchros and all that. Um, so I kind of want to just put the new input shaft or the old input shaft into this transmission. The downside to that is going to be 8 to 12 hours, I think something like that to rebuild the transmission basically I just need the input shift input shift input shaft out uh, but to do that I need to rebuild or tear down the transmission I'm gonna have to buy a press along with other tools that I need to do or I will need to do this work so alright guys so first off if this fan behind me comes true I apologize for uh, the noise or humming in the background it's getting pretty hot in the valley, so I gotta keep the fan on. Yeah, so hopefully it's not too loud. Now, with that said, different day. As you guys can see, I already got a haircut and everything, so I got a haircut in between this episode. Essentially, I've slept on it, and I think I know what direction I'm gonna take. So, let me walk you guys through this. The first option is to buy a dog box uh, transmission, but that's gonna be around 10 grand with like the front diff and all that stuff. For 10k, I could basically finish off this car. So if I put it in that perspective, it's almost like, yeah, let's finish off the car first and then let's just throw in another transmission, stock transmission in this car. So here's what I have. Here's the transmission that I broke the input shaft on. That one broke the drive shaft and actually there's a couple gears that I kind of shattered. I don't know what it is yet because I haven't opened it up. But the magnet did catch like two pieces of fairly large chunk of... Uh, gears so that's definitely trash for the most part well you know i don't know what gears yet but something's wrong in that gear for sure and then we have this one this one is a backup for this one and it's not a very good backup this was like the cheapest one i got or i found and we're talking high miles i don't really know what's going on with it owner said he was fine when he pulled it off he just wanted a new refresh one so it's probably shifting a little hard would be my guess right now. It could probably use a rebuild, which I'm not going to. But here's what I'm kind of thinking. I'm going to go ahead and just throw this into this car. I'm going to use stock diff. Basically, I'm going to use everything here. Originally, I had it apart because I was going to use the uh, center diff. But yeah, this center diff is just as bad as that center diff as far as gearing, like tear, wear and tear kind of deal on here. So it's just as bad, so I didn't decide to use that. But basically, I'm gonna put it back together, throw it in the car in short, and while, you know, that will get me going, hopefully, hopefully it runs fine. Um, while that's happening, or while that happens, what I'm gonna do with this, and I'm gonna go ahead and pull the input shaft from this, which is gonna take me some time because I need to buy some tools, learn how to pull the transmission apart, and then get the input shaft, Get it cryo treated, slap it on this one. Or if I can get a cryo treated, uh, treated input shaft, I'm gonna go ahead and just buy it outright and then put it on this one. We'll see. But for now, that's the plan. Put in this unknown, hopefully good, should be good transmission that hopefully will last us for the rest of the year, or at least a couple months. You know, I just need a couple months to get this thing going and if that goes out by then then cool we'll put it on there so i'm gonna save you guys some time of me uh putting that back together and i'll slap it on together put in the oil and then kind of slap it on the car and then we're gonna cross our fingers cross our toes that it works and i'll take you guys for a test drive all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and go for a quick drive nothing too crazy on this one now we'll go through all the gears and then do a quick pull here and there just to see how everything feels. Hopefully everything is good. So now one thing I noticed, it is disengaging a lot better. I can hear a difference. 
First gear feels good. Second gear feels good. Third. So one thing I've noticed right away guys, this one is a little bit rough, which is kind of what I expected. Um, shifts fine if you shift slow, but other than that, it does shift kind of hard in the gear. Yeah. So first to second is going to be a little bit rough. Second to third is also going to be a little bit rough. Um, Fourth doesn't seem to be a, a problem, so definitely could use a rebuild, new synchros and all that. I like completely ignored the, the closed road sign, <laughs> so now I gotta make a, a detour over here. Uh, I just went in all the way, not even paying attention to it, it's close already. Alright, so the car is back up and running, which is great. Uh, shifts pretty hard, which is not so great, so we're gonna have to do something about that. Um, but for now, that transmission is going to stay until I figure out what I'm going to do with my transmission. There's the other option of taking that down and doing a, a rebuild on it. But I think I'd rather just wait for another transmission um, and rebuild that. Or if I could find a rebuild one again, that'd be ideal. And I'm also charging my battery because I managed to drain that. I forgot to take off the switch. That's what I did. Um, it should still be charging, yep, even though you went for a quick drive. It was basically at zero, fully drained out. Well, actually, it was like two bolts or something. So it's basically drained out, left it charging overnight. Uh, I think it was like 10.4 bolts when I when I uh, started this morning. Uh, it's still not quite there, so I'm going to go finish it off to fully charge. Oh, looks like I have a mess in here. Um, the other thing that I've noticed is, oh that's not good I did not notice that where's that coming from ew ew that's where that, I thought that was like so I saw that I thought that was a leak from yesterday but this is a lot so this is definitely Another leak. What the heck could I have here? Oh, snap. So, I was gonna end the episode right there and then figure out what the heck is going on next until I saw this in the back. Looks like I may have spilt more brake fluid than anticipated and I just did not catch that. I also didn't look back here, so. Um, it looks like it's turning like goldish because of the mat or the, what is that the sound deafening mat deafening mat uh, But I think we are good I'm gonna go ahead and dry it out and then when I go for a drive again I'll just make sure to check for it But other than that, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time